everybody. Uh, my name is Ms. Roscoe, and today I'm going to be going over all my gym rules and my consequences. So the first rule is to practice safety at all times. You want to make sure that you're being safe and keep everybody else safe so nobody gets hurt in the gym. Uh, the second rule is to respect others and equipment. You want to treat others like you would want to be treated. It's supposed to be fun. Um, and you want to treat equipment how you're supposed to do it. You don't want to break anything, and you want to just use it for what is assigned. The third rule is to stop, look, and listen when the signal is given. So sometimes I may blow my whistle or I might just yell freeze, and everybody needs to stop what they're doing, put the equipment down, look over at me, and listen to the next direction. The fourth rule is to give your best effort. We're going to be learning a lot of different things in the gym, and it's not always going to be easy, but I need everybody to give their best effort because with practice, they'll get better at it. Um, the fifth rule is just leave the gym feeling good or better. It's supposed to be a fun class. We're doing what they're supposed to. Two baseballs will be um, a loss of five minutes of activity time. And then three baseballs, I'm just going to stop the class altogether because I just feel like they're not really getting anything out of it. They're not doing what they're supposed to be doing, so they shouldn't have the time. Um, individually, I'm going to have um, three different things that will happen. The first one will just be a warning. I'll give two different warnings, and then the third time they're still misbehaving, then they'll come over here and sit by the three strikes you're out poster. And we'll sit there for about five minutes, just in timeout, and then they can get up again. And if they're still misbehaving, then um, I'll have them sit out for the rest of the class, and then we'll have a phone call home.